hey guys this is shukesh ponik from gadgetsportal.in and today i am going to show you 30 plus hidden tips and tricks on this awesome new samsung galaxy note 3 which you must know i hope you will find this video quite interesting and helpful now the display of this phone is huge 5.7 inches and it is impossible to reach all the parts of the display with one hand now what you can do is to swipe just like this way and you can get this very handy smaller one-handed version of the display you can even access the home the volume rocker each and everything under your thumb you can do the same to get back to the original view you can do this from both the sides of the display so now you should not be worried about the huge dimension and the large display of this note 3 tips number two if you triple tap on the display and hold you can get this zoomed view of the display and you can pan just like so you can also triple tap and leave to get this zoomed view and then use two fingers to zoom or pan the display you have to turn on these features from the settings let me show you here is the magnification gesture option you should turn on to get the tips too the first option here will enable the tips one I have shown you. Samsung has done a very nice thing on this Note 3. Out of the box you can move your installed applications data to your external SD card which is expandable up to 64 GB. The only other device having this feature is Galaxy S4. And Galaxy S4 also did not get this feature out of the box. So you can get the 32 GB version of this Note 3 and ignore the 64 GB version and save money. Trick number 4. If you hover your S Pen over any text input field, you will get this icon and this handwriting window where you can just write the URL you want to visit and this is a very convenient way of writing as you know, especially when you are holding this S Pen. Again, you have to turn on this feature from the S Pen settings. Galaxy Note 3 supports air view both with the S Pen and the finger. If you hover your finger over the browser, you will get this magnified view and this thing doesn't work with the S Pen. So this is a very great feature of this Note 3. Moreover, with the S Pen air view, you will get a mouse pointer like experience just like the browser on your PC or Mac. This type of feature is not available on any other mobile phone including Galaxy S4. Now suppose you want to save this part on the browser then Samsung has included a feature called scrapbook. You can get this from this air command wheel and here it is. Now you have to just draw a loop around the content you want to save from the browser. Scrapbook has detected the text and you can also draw something and add that to the content. You can also tag this content so that you can find this easily later on. Here on this Samsung keyboard from the option menu you will find this one handed keyboard and the most interesting part here is if you hover your finger over any edge of the screen the keyboard moves that way automatically. So Samsung has put a lot of effort to make this user interface as user friendly as possible. Now you should also turn on this continuous input because this is the fastest way of writing on the keyboard. But obviously handwriting is the best way to write especially with S Pen. Now if you click with your S Pen the keyboard automatically changes to the handwriting mode. Writing with S Pen is sheer fun and the handwriting recognition is the best you can get on any mobile phone. Now the interesting part is you are getting some suggestions from the phone and this thing is very handy while writing common phrases or sentences like happy new year, happy birthday etc. There is also an autocorrect feature on the handwriting mode which works really nice and next time while writing with this S Pen don't bother about the spelling mistakes now you can strike to delete and you can also delete a single letter just like this way 
you can also override a single letter and replace it with another letter you can also add a single letter or a whole word in between the letters of this word you can also concatenate these two words just by drawing something like that so if you can remember and apply these gestures then you can master on this s pen you can add enter with this symbol or gesture and these things are quite easy and very very handy now i want to show you a hidden feature if you hover your s pen over the attachment and click the button on the s pen you can get these gallery items to be included into this message these are the few areas where your command will does not come you can do the same on the add contact menu and you will get your recent contacts though there is none at this moment well i hope that you are really enjoying this video i have put a lot of effort making this review so it will be great if you subscribe and keep in touch with this channel i'll upload a lot more videos on this note 3 so if you are really into this phone then do subscribe and keep in touch so that you never miss any update or awesome feature of this amazingly beautiful phone from samsung as you know galaxy note 3 is the first ever mobile phone featuring a usb 3.0 port now the trick is you can still use your generic micro usb cable for charging as well as data syncing though the data syncing speed may not be as high as you can get from a usb 3.0 cable different people have different type of hearing capabilities and different headsets also have different qualities so samsung has included a feature called adapt sound which you have to calibrate for the first time just attach the headset you have bought recently and listen carefully you may hear some beeps just complete this process and this will completely change the hearing experience with the headphone so do this as soon as you buy a new headphone or do this with the headphone you get with this note 3 samsung has included a feature called safety assistance if you press and hold both the volume rockers simultaneously for three seconds the phone will capture an image of you with the front camera and also send your location and an emergency message to this emergency contact you have saved under the safety assistance there is a hands-free mode option in this galaxy note 3 which enables you with a lot of handy features so that you can access the phone without touching the display this is handy while driving cooking painting or any other task you are doing and i also personally use it indoor so that i don't have to reach out for the phone every time i get a missed call or a message you can do a lot of things with the display of this note 3 this phone features an rgb sensor here and you can turn on the adapt display which sets the screen tone in accordance with the lighting condition in your ambience you can find this option under the screen mode you can also check this auto adjust screen tone for saving the battery while reading ebooks you can also turn on this reading mode there is another thing you can do you can set the contrast level of the display there is a nice calibration process you have to go through you can also check this option which will enable you to use your note 3 with gloves on just like galaxy s4 galaxy note 3 also features the smart screen options and the smart stay will not turn off the display as long as you are looking at it and the smart rotation here will also block the screen from auto rotating if your face is in parallel with the display this helps in typing leaning on bed this smart scroll will scroll the display of the phone in the browser if you tilt your head or the phone smart pause will pause a video if you look away from the display and restart if you look back s pen is the standout feature of this note 3 and let me show you some tricks with it if you hover and press the button you can get this air command wheel but this is not the trick everyone knows it 
the trick is you can get all of this without this air command you can just press and hold this button and double tap on the screen to get this action memo now you can perform a lot of actions like you can write down a number and with this option you can call the number right away this is so easy and handy you can get back the action memo here and you can also do a lot of other tasks the pop-up info preview with the S Pen is also very useful you can save to contact this number with the name and you can even select a part of this action memo and perform any specific task now if you press and hold the menu key you will get the S Finder which is a device centric search option you can search for anything on the device or on the web now if you want to save anything on the display you can just press and hold the button and draw a loop you can also use this magnetic tool to crop out any specific image from the selection here from the air command wheel you can get this pen window you have to just draw a loop and you can get this floating applications and you can do your normal task while using these applications this thing works anywhere anytime on this phone sometimes you get a lot of notifications or ads from the applications you have installed into this phone so you can just press and hold on the notifications and you can get this app info you can turn off the show notification option and you can also disable or completely uninstall those applications from here in any full screen application if you swipe down the top part of the display twice you can get the notification window and you can check your messages you can change the brightness of the display and this is extremely handy while gaming you don't have to leave the game to do this if you swipe up the bottom part of the display you can get this my magazine and this is just like flipboard you can also get your frequently used things from here in the apps menu from the option menu you can get this disable app option you can disable that is hide few applications you don't want to share with your friends or if you don't use them that much while watching a video you can just put your hand over the display to pause it you can also lock the video by clicking the power key and while seeking a video if you press the S pen on the seek bar and move up you can change the speed of the seek and you can also move further and you will get this one fourth seek interval this trick is helpful in seeking large video files in the music player you should try this music square and from the option menu you can change the axis you can play this same song on other compatible devices with the help of group play you can get some nice stereo effect as well from the settings you should also try this new redesigned sound alive sound enhancement system now let me show you some tricks on the camera as well with this slow motion video mode you can take videos of very fast moving objects like a small droplet or anything breaking in the video settings there is an audio zoom option which basically enables this phone to record the sound coming from the zoomed object only well we have come to the end of this review and i have not shown you a lot of things on this note 3 I am going to upload some real in-depth tips and tricks series reviews on this phone maybe weekly or twice a week so make sure you subscribe to this channel that is gadgets portal and you can also share these videos with your friends if they are into this phone this galaxy note 3 is an awesome device and if you know these hidden tricks and apply them you can feel the awesomeness thanks for watching guys see you in the next review Bye-bye and keep in touch.